I have just about every light on in my room. I have that one and that one and this one. The only one not on is this little one over here on my desk. I have a little tiny desk clamp here I use when I do, you know, all this paperwork. I was doing some paperwork earlier. Um, happy Monday. <laughs> my Monday's been kind of so-so. <laughs> um... I have gone through the footage on my flip cam, so tomorrow I'll be loading the video from when we went to my cousin's benefit. And the first, like, four and a half minute clip is my dad. It's a non-stop clip, and um, he was going to go show you the auction stuff, which he does. And But he'll stop and talk to people and forget he's recording, so sorry about that. <laughs> so you might see somebody's shoulder, or with the humper, you never know what you're going to get. Sometimes he's a very good cameraman, and sometimes so so. Um, then I have uh, some random stuff, and then I have the video I took yesterday out at my cousin's. Okay, my cousin's house. You have to go up a flight of stairs to the deck to get in the house. I think it's like eight or ten steps. Is ten steps a flight? I don't know, but. Um, so we were in the kitchen. Well, we had the party down in the garage, so I went out the back way and went down the flight of steps into the garage. <clears throat> well, then we were getting a little chilly. They have a heater in there, but it was he didn't have the big heater on. We didn't know if my uncle was going to come, who's in a wheelchair, and if he was going to come, he was going to kick on the big heater, and we'd all stay down there. If not, we'd go up in the house. Um, so I go back up in the house to get my little coat. So I go back up the flight of stairs. As soon as I get up there... My aunt and uncle pull in, so I go back down the flight of stairs and I go sit with them for a while. I was feeling good at the party, but I was sitting on a hard wooden chair. <clears throat> Which didn't really hurt that bad then. It was not the most comfortable, but I could bear it. When I got home and after the excitement of seeing everybody and I wound down, oh my goodness, my left knee and my left hip. <laughs> I had to take two pain pills last night. And my dad heard me crying, and he's like, "What's wrong?" I'm like, I'm "Just in pain," because it was it was kind of got to that level of, I'm used to it, but when it gets to that level, and I just and plus, you know, it's PMS time, so I was just aggravated, and so dad gets all flustered, <laughs> and uh, he's like, "You want your walker?" I'm like, "No, I don't want my walker." Are you sure you don't want your walker? I'm like, "I'm sure I don't want my walker." So I gimped myself into the bathroom, and I hear him get out of his chair and do something, and I come out. What's sitting in the hallway? the walker. I'm like, I told you I didn't want the walker. Because I want it close just in case you need it. I'm like, I'm okay. And I think the weather didn't help either because it's really cold, icy, rainy time. So my hip is feeling much better. I think that was just from sitting in the wooden chair. But my left knee? I'm hoping this is weather and it's a flare-up and it'll go away. If not, I have to call the orthopedist and have a little shot behind the kneecap. It's been over a year since I've had it, so... I can't complain. The last shot lasted two years. And, um, you know, they're happy if they last six months. So, it, I swear that year has gone so fast. So fast. Last year was a blur. A blur. Um, a lot due to the depression from hormones, medications, and... Ugh. Ugh. But, um... <laughs> I'm feeling a little better now. I'm getting ready to go to the kitchen to clean some carrots because tomorrow we're having our St. Patrick's Day dinner. We're a couple days late. Don't tell St. Patrick. Um, so I'm going to peel my carrots and put them in a container so I don't have to do it tomorrow. And I'm going to go go patty out some hamburgers because I'm going to George Foreman some hamburgers. Dad's out um, getting supplies for the Legion and I called him. I said, bring home a little pack of buns. So he's like, okay. He, uh, him and Carol had gone over to my cousins to visit Bob and Lou while they were here. So he took her back home because she had to go to work at 3 and he came home and took a little power nap. Then he took off about probably 4.30. Maybe 5 o'clock when he left because 6.30 now. <clears throat> so he should be home before I know it. Um, a little work stress today, but 
I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stress myself out over it like I did the last time I got stressed out. This is not financial. This is insurance wise and um, this is for liability insurance. And uh, there was a miscommunication that my cousin did not keep it. It was just, uh, oh, it'll get straightened out, but um, sometimes my cousin aggravates me. I'm sure I aggravate him too. Because I know Dan the phone, I, I'm like, I'm not the one who screwed this up. I My knee is killing me. I'm PMSing. I just want to feel better. And he's like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, that'll get straightened out. And I need to call my accountant. I wonder if I can call her now. I think I'll call her. Maybe I'll call, should I call her now? I'll call her now. I'm going to let you go and I'm going to call my accountant real fast and see what, what, I'm going to have a little piece of my little bites. I'm, I'm so ADD right now. I just can't concentrate. That was a licorice bite. Mmm, I do like them. My dad always goes, ew, ew. He doesn't hate many foods, but that's one of his hates. That and liver. They rank right up there on his on, a, on his list. Wait a minute. I want to tell you something else. Okay. Um, my cousin Little Roy. We call him Big Roy and Little Roy because he's really Roy Jr., but we've always called him Little Roy. Um, I met his girlfriend for the first time, and uh, she had brought a roast yesterday, and um, it was venison, but it tasted just like a beef roast. You would have never have guessed it was venison. It never had no kind of gamey taste or anything. It was it, even my dad liked it, and he's not a big venison eater. Uh, Peggy can cook cook venison really well too. Um, it was really good. I don't know why I had to tell you that, but I did. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go now. Hi, kitty. You want to say hi to everybody? Hey, you want to say hi? You going to get your little nest of blanket right there? Come here. Come here. I know, you, I know you want to. She's too easy. But, yeah. I was spreading the word yesterday about Dad's party to some of the family. And my Aunt Kathy is in on doing a big cooker of baked beans, so... She said, if, if it's something else you need, just tell me. I'm like, okie dokie. And I said, what do you need us to bring for Easter? <laughs> I can't believe Easter's less than two weeks away. That's crazy. Okay, I'm rolling. I will see you all. Well, you won't see me vlogging tomorrow, but you'll see something tomorrow. Bye.